Hello, and after a fairly long gap, this is the latest in my series of Isle of Dogs on Access videos. And today I'm going to tell you about a new utility called Table Analyzer and Viewer, which you can find on my website at the address shown below, isleofdogs.co.uk table hyphen analyzer. And it's a very simple utility in terms of use. It has a single form, and that single form allows you to select any external database, from that you get a list of the tables, linked, local and system tables. It will then tell you the number of fields in each table and the number of records in each table. Having collected that data you can then choose to get a size estimate of each of the tables and this can be very useful particularly if you're taking over a new client database for you to examine which tables are likely to be the ones you need to focus on for example the ones which have got a large number of fields like this could well be candidates that need improvement enough chat let's go on and have a look at the utility now when it first opens you just get the top part of the screen there and a browse button here you can then select any external database or you might as well start with the current database here so it's collecting information about the tables in there and as you can see then we've got 14 tables here nearly all of which are system tables in this particular case and three fields in that one seven in this one 11 records and so on here and I can click on any one of those and you can see then there's the three fields and the 11 records that it says on here and similarly with each of the others including the system tables here if the table is editable you can edit it by doing that you can also look at the design view and you get a warning message here I'll explain that later okay but you can look at the design view for each of those tables so now you can go from one database to another very quickly which is a much quicker way than plowing through every single table individually let's actually now look at a different database and I've got a series of ones just to show you the idea here this one here has got a password and it's a very simple password here into that the database open the same process as before same sort of list as before and I can get the table sizes just as I did before here it doesn't take very long for a small database like this I can then print that off enlarge that slightly you can actually see it more clearly and you can then save that and it tells you when the analysis was last completed because obviously the data could change there let's take a slightly more complicated database than that one and this one has got 21 tables with some slightly larger items in there okay going through this here now let's check the table sizes for that one and again you can see it really is a very quick process six seconds to do that and you can see the table sizes there that's there is 684 kilobytes if you want to though before you do get the table sizes you can choose to exclude certain ones which you think might be large and you don't need to actually look at that and you can also choose to just look at particular types of table missing out the linked ones here it's just updating that I can miss out the system tables just get those local ones there and after a while it will cut that down there get the idea let's do one more let's take a database this time which has got much more data in there and we'll go for this one here this is an ACCDE file only 52 tables but those 52 tables do contain a couple of tables which have got a huge number of records as you will see in a few seconds when we get to completion here and the postcode table in particular has got 45 fields and 2.61 million records this one here 175,000 records and so on now I can actually include those or exclude those from the from the choice there let's leave them all in for now and if I wanted to I could click that to exclude them all which will mean that nothing will happen at all when I go to get the table sizes and I'm gonna put them all back in again in a second here if anything's happened in the meantime I could choose to refresh that table list there's no point in doing so it's actually correct and updated let's include the system tables now let's get the table sizes. 
Now this will take a little bit longer because as I said we've got a couple of very large tables and when it gets to those it will pause. So the first one it will pause at is the postcodes table. This one. Now this as I said is 2.61 million records. Now with all of these what it's doing in order to actually get the table size is, is exporting these to a temporary database one at a time and it measures the size of the database before the table is exported and again after the table is exported. The difference between them is a good estimate of the table size. It can't be ever precise because in your actual database rather than the temporary one the data could be added piecemeal and therefore the amount of space allocated to the table may be slightly different to what it is with this process but it will still give you a very accurate idea and you can see how long that one took compared to all of the others we're nearly there now 59 seconds to do that and that's a database that is 1.2 gigabytes. Now remember the maximum size of an access database is 2 gigabytes. If your database, including the link tables and system tables, exceeds 2 gigabytes, then the temporary database you export to will crash. Therefore you want to avoid that happening if you physically can. Now you can see what I meant about this one particular table there. That in itself is 1.2 gigabytes. It's 95% it's of the total database size and we can actually click on that and it's got data about every single postcode in the UK not only 2.61 million records but also a large number of fields as well and that is how the data is actually supplied to me so there's nothing I can do about that okay and as I said before you can print that in this particular case it's two pages needed but you get the idea now the database is supplied as an ACCDE file, free, it's fully working but it means the code is not available. If you wish to look at the code then you can buy an ACCDB version with the source code for a small fee. And in the future I will add additional functionality, to probably only to the source code version. Any ideas you have for additional functionality please do let me know. Just to say, on my website, as well as the item I've just told you, ardolf.co.uk table analyzer, related items about tables, I've got a utility to view external tables as well, here slightly different from this one, way of looking at the complex tables, those with multi-valued fields, attachment fields and so on, one that tells you more about system tables, and one that tells you about lookup fields in tables. So all of those are available on my website. Thanks for watching. There'll be more videos to follow, hopefully rather quicker than the gap between this and the previous one. And if you found it useful, please, as usual, click the like button, leave a comment, do subscribe, and then you'll know when I do release some new videos and suggest some topics for future videos in this series. Thanks again. See you soon.